Oh boy, that's loud. <laughs> Alright, hello everyone, welcome, welcome to Bit Dungeon Plus! Is the audio fine? This is a sponsored game, I got a code for it from the publisher. You saw this on the store. Yeah, let's uh, take a look at it and see. How much of a game it is? Is it a game? I think so. What? Try to attack me with your sword using the attack button. What is this? Oh. I missed the colors on the buttons. Do a super attack keeping the attack button pressed. Oh, it's not just release. That's kind of weird. Hey, kitty. How are you? Not a matcher. Are you okay, Tire? Yourself? I'm good, I'm good. I'm not motion sick yet. Just doing a little bit of doom. And yet I survived. No, I have nightmares from earlier. Uh, earlier? Something, something I should know that I forgot. Blame you. <laughs> oh, 
Wait, no! I wanna go back. Why did he leave that screen? I didn't even touch the... Oh. Do these weird enemies show up in cleared rooms? Is that it? Damn, I dodged right into it. <laughs> this is definitely... Ah. Why can't I select the other thing? Roguelike is definitely not a favor. It's not. It's not. I wanted to select the other shield. Why is it there if I can't select it? I can't even control continue at all. What is the bell's tower? I are the curse. It's doom. That reminds me of Gene Attack. Ah! The humanity. This isn't the roguelike, this is just a rogue. Uh, right? Is it because you really do start over from from scratch? I know it's a roguelike, not a roguelite. Whatever. I was just saying earlier these names are getting dumb. There's a trophy for total life lost being 1,000. I'm getting that. This was on the Vita. I never heard about this. Vita and Wii U. Good to have a goal, absolutely. I wish you could dodge. It's not exactly entered the dungeon, is it? Are you still there? Yeah. With how much Dustin- with how much and what he does say, Dustin talks about Bolatro. 
I'm surprised you are not jumping into them. I got a gold trophy. <laughs> Lose life points. <laughs> I got a trophy for losing health. <laughs> because of course I did. So the wish list, just too much to play. Sign loved it too, I think. Yeah, he did, he did. I guess these enemies show up in places you cleared. Oh boy. You track the vermin. Yeah, you haven't uh, answered me. What are you in the mood for? What are you looking for in a game right now? looking for next? I did want to give you an answer, even if you are not uh, following through with it. Oh man. Like, why can I not move while charging my my attacks? Just charge it. Even Zelda 1 did that. Do you recommend the... you recommend the diving? Does it have the Throw 7 seal of approval? Would I like it? Is it a, a cozy game, as they say, or is it like, or does it get intense? <laughs> There's a trophy in this game called Brown Warrior. Collect all brown elements. It's not Japanese, no waifus, hard to say. Is it cozy or, or does it get intense? Sniping for ingredients, serving the food, you can drown, but I don't know if I'd call it intense. Okay. No, like, uh... I know it's a bad example, and probably an example you haven't played. Oh, this looks different. But, uh... 
I think a good example for me is I love Viva Pinata until it starts being a game. Uh, like, when I'm in my little farm, just, uh, when I'm in my little farm, just putting up fences, putting up some grass, seeing how things look, what's the most aesthetic way to have the farm, then the animal comes and visits, I give it food, I play with it, I make it fuck another animal, and I get more fun. All of this really fun. When... Uh, when bad actors start coming in destroying shit killing my animals, if I don't act really fast and give them specifically the thing that they need, and like this is a really intense music start that I feel like oh my god oh, he's gonna ruin all I've worked for then no. <laughs> I get this I think that I think the the developers at Rare really understood that because the second Viva Pinata game actually has a mode where enemies do not come in, so you can just chill and do like the the chill, cozy, nothing is going to go wrong, and just enjoy the. Enjoy. Th there's a lot of shit you can't do because you can't progress and get the the animal species that only come in as aggressors that you need to convert to your side. You can't get those anymore, so you can't progress. But you can have just you can just like be having fun. I like that. We need to do coffee talk too. People in my life have loved Viva Pinata with David and all my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> I mean, I don't love Viva Pinata because it's it gets fucking intense. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to be attached to... Like, that's the thing. I don't want to be attached to how my garden looks or what creature I have in my garden that someone comes in and just kills my creature that I'm attached to, or to adopt the next thing that I need to progress. I need to take down a chunk of my garden to, to just appeal to that specific creature. No one has ever told me that Viva Pinata is intense? Exactly! I think that game looks like such a chill thing, and then it's just, what the fuck, this is... Like, oh my god, everything is going to go wrong. No! But, like, the image of Elmo with everything on fire? That's Viva Pinata for me.
<laughs> Holy shit. That's a big boy. Um, I can just... I... Weird. I thought the fending brought down that white wire that I saw before. Can I farm damage defended with my shield this way? Hmm. Yes, I'm definitely not cheating. But yeah, like, um, like, coffee talk is always chill, right? And even, I like the, I really like Dredge when I, when I played the demo. I felt like the demo was very strict in what it did, did or didn't let me do. But, uh, there's intense shit in Dredge, but you only engage with it if you want to. You can just be like, nope. I'm going to sleep at night. <laughs> not, uh, not going to take a look at all the eldritch horrors going around. I guess I wasn't counting before. medium for, for me is the written word. But I did think the, 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 the shit happening at night in Dredge was really fun. I'm not saying it's not. What I'm saying is, if you just want the chill side, you don't have to do the not chill side. That's what I was saying. I thought it was really cool, actually. The... It almost made me think of the way Eternal Darkness played tricks on you a bit. Like, you start seeing shit uh, out there in the, in the night sea. I think that's super fun. I wish more games did what Eternal Darkness did. Oh, now I get it. 
I'm hungry. Apparently had dinner. Pretty solid movie guy. What do you mean? I wrote movie reviews for such a long time. Don't starve. Except the, the art style is in Don't Starve makes it feel. Real unique. Um, I I think I am a big movie guy. I think I I definitely watched more films than most people. Reminds you of Binding of Isaac? Yeah, I, I think that's way more like that. But yeah, I used to do movie reviews and uh, two newspaper, two different newspapers, and a movie. Um, Like, the, a radio segment that was just like, what's releasing this week? It wasn't like, uh, classification, it was just, uh, information, you know? Like, this week we have, like, five releases on the, on the theaters, cinemas, here's what you can get, this one's about this, this, and this, this one's about this, this, and that, um... It was like, uh, I, I would talk about each movie like a minute, a minute and a half, uh, and then just move on to the next one, because, uh, yeah. Can you still call into theaters for times? I don't know. Why would you? There's... Things have websites now. You think it's Kramer picking up if you call into the movies to, to know the times? Anyone here a, a, a Seinfeld fan? So the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare that showed up before the movie? Movie phone? Changing the channel when Seinfeld is on? Damn! Kitty! Savage! You gotta be savage like that, Kitty. Yeah, I think Seinfeld is, is amazing.
What's normal TV? What is normal TV? You know, I, I don't know what that means. You guys have this dis distinction between cable and non-cable that I don't understand. I think the difference is just cable you pay for, right? Cable versus streaming? Ah, I thought you meant versus, like, antenna. Like, the normal channels everyone has. I still watch a bunch of stuff on TV. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was the distinction. Yeah, I, I don't get internet. I don't have a smart TV. I don't get internet on my TV, so I watch normal TV stuff on it, but there's things on TV that I still really, really plan my life around watching, like, uh, like Taskmaster, I love that. I've never watched those. Stuff like Parks and Rec and Brooklyn Nine-Nine you can watch if you just had an antenna. Stuff like Walking Dead was only on cable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh... Like, I don't know what's on what, so I don't really get... I, and I thought that was the distinction, but since I don't know what's on what, like what's a paid channel and what's not a paid channel for you guys, like... Say, making that distinction means nothing to me. Like, I only watch paid channels. Yeah, I don't know what pay, what channels are paid or what's on each channel, so that doesn't mean anything. Oh, there we go. Take. Walk 200 damage with shield. I am King Skeleton, now bow before me. Oh, ow. What if we became friends? No. I don't think he wants to. Oh, I did get a, a something. To make uh, the run easier.
Shall I go for more damage? We, we just think 200 damage. still show up. You guys don't have Taskmaster, right? On uh, the US? Streaming only, I think? But is it the US version? Or, uh, like... The British version. American? Okay. Interesting. Because uh, Americans usually are more outrageous? I wonder how that goes. Too much, but I'm surprised I'm starving. I'm tired. to farm that, but it was boring.
Oh, this guy I can farm without even moving. <laughs> Perfect. So, how's the family, everyone? Uh, I really feel like I'm in the lazy day. I, I felt so relieved yesterday when I finally got that, uh... That Platinum 225. By the way, I'm, I'm already at 229, if you haven't noticed. Just from the last stream to this stream. Dang. <laughs> I had a couple of stuff lined up that uh, I stopped playing because I didn't want to platinum it before Rebirth. The last time we did a round of uh, sponsored games, uh, I got, uh, got exactly that. One of them I was like super scared because it wasn't even, it didn't even have uh, a list yet. So I was like, oh man, I hope, I hope it has more trophies than, uh, than like 10, because otherwise I'm getting a platinum. I've got more plants in 24 hours than I have the entire year. <laughs> That's what it is. One of them was my dad, so. Yeah, I did. I did Type Zero. Then we did on stream Time Rift. And like offline, I did Ardio and Pop Slinger. By the way, Pop Slinger was a bit of a nightmare. I had to redo the the, the boss fight, the final boss fight I needed to do. For I don't thirty times, maybe. I I almost feel like if the level itself to get there wasn't such a, a gauntlet, I would have quit. But uh, I'm glad I didn't, because I didn't get the plan. I just didn't want to play the level again. <laughs> to try again later, so I was like, no! No! <laughs> Worth it for the plan, yes. I don't know, I don't know if I would have um, tried again, if... If it was just... If, if I had quit out, I don't know if I would have tried again. Just because of the level, of course. How is the Tales of Arise list? I only played one Tales game with a trophy, with an achievement list, and it was the worst achievement list I ever I've ever seen in my life. So. I wonder if they got better with that. Does appear to be as it does not appear to be as bad. Okay. I think I talked to you about it. It was like for each specific story boss that you only fight once and then never can go back to unless you just start the game again. There were very specific things you needed to do in the point, like destroy 
the pillars in the arena before you deal damage to the person. Kill the ants. Don't kill the ants. Uh, uh, the final spell has to be a light. The final attack needs to be a lightning spell. Something like that, you know. Um, it was shit. It was absolute shit. Yeah. Let me see. I don't even understand these levels. Ah! Yeah. Defeat Boss X at level 15 or under. Like, if you if you level up, you no longer can get this trophy. <laughs> I'll find it tough because this game is surprisingly hard. You have to do the post-game stuff, it looks pretty easy, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Is it kind of like Genshin Impact, or like in gameplay, or not really? Defeated Zagi while protecting Estelise from Zagi's attacks. So, one character cannot take damage during the boss fight. Wow. Downed Goliath by attacking its Achilles heel while it charged the X-Buster. Use Billy Belly plants to stun Gatuso. Like, these are all optional things, you can just fight normally. Lured the boss to the side of the ship and knocked him overboard to pull him off. Downed the giant when it reached back and left itself wide open. Use Serpent to set a trap for the larva and prevent it from healing itself. Take out the bridge supports to keep the boss from calling out more thugs. Like, I don't think the, the things you can do it's themselves are uninteresting, but the fact that they're related to a trophy that is completely missable it's like Kingdom Hearts, except you can switch to anyone in your party. Okay. There's like air combos and shit. Let him absorb too much magic, destroying his blast. Yeah, I guess that's just not flying. Defeat the leader bat and prevent him from recombining. Destroy the core and prevent magic from inverting day and night. Lit up all candlesticks and eliminate the illusions. Time your strikes between their attacks and knock them down. Yeah, these are these are all secret things you can do, but don't have to do at all to win. Downed him by attacking when he was clutching his heart after his spell. Ugh.
Yeah, these are these are really bad. This, this is one of the worst lists I've seen. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, for me, the main thing about Kingdom Hearts is how you can jump and do a bunch of combos in the air. Hey, Monchips! Monchips, when, when's your thing? You don't know anymore? Cancel? Did they cancel your doctor? Supposedly 14th of June, but I'm having second thoughts about it. Oh. Is it not something you need? I get it. You doing good though? Would help, but it's not that I need it. Okay. You would like to have a bigger penis. I get it. It's not needed. Just, uh, just for, uh, for bragging rights. I get it. You got it wrong. It's a shrinking procedure. Oh. Too much penis. I get it. Have you considered just uh, moving to colder climates? That help? Oh, you are you not familiar with the with the term shrinkage? See, this is what happens when you don't watch side. Just familiar with team blood and team meat? I don't know what that means. See, now I am not familiar. Uh... You ever went to the cold ocean? And noticed that Perhaps there was some shrinkage down there? Like, hey buddy, feeling okay? I have definitely said things like, it's so cold, my dick is turned inside out. Not literally, of course, but... Who's keeping track of the literally? Holy shit. We need a bot dick counter for every time they're talking about one that would get so broken. <laughs> no one uses the weep counter anymore. It's sad. Hmm. 
that's not how you write it. It's weave with two E's, but I think the command is WB. Or WC. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> that used to be very popular in this channel. Not anymore. Very sad. Time to bring it back. I think it's because people used it too much because I was always being a weep. You can't keep track of it when it's happening all the time. <laughs> Unless you make it your life mission to just be counting how many times I am being a weeb, well, then you're all- you can't ever do anything else other than write on- in chat. I think I would have used it 1000 times during the Caligula effect. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I don't know Kier was asking me about the Caligula effect today, saying he wanted to play it. You can certainly do worse. Yeah, I think if you don't go for Platinum, it's an amazing game. Otherwise it's too repetitive. I, I, I can't I can't stand that. What? It's a giant squid. Holy shit. Why was he on fire? players. Who's the other player? It just lets me start a two-player game without a second controller being connected. Why am I so slow? Oh. Thank you, friend. Uh -huh. Yes, keep attacking the other guy.
That reminded me of the Sniper Elite, guys. Pedipoo! I don't know if that's what they actually said. If that's what it sounds like, I don't know German. I know like two German words. Maybe four. These guys respawn. They do. So backtracking is not encouraged. It's a good way to get killed though. These are pretty easy enemies. But yeah, I have a distinct feeling that the next JRPG I'm gonna try to play, I will have some regrets about it. No plant though, definitely no plant. We'll see. It's a saga game, but it's not the new one. Uh, the new one absolutely looks like shit, by the way. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a, I, think, I think it's Saga Emerald Beyond? I it's one of the worst art styles I've seen in a JRPG since the third Valiant Arts, I think.
Something about it looks cheap, yeah. The art style is awful, and apparently the game is not even good either. I I don't know why you would choose to do something like that. Saga games usually have good art, too. Not that I've played many of them, I've played, I played one, uh, played Saga Frontier 2 pretty extensively until I couldn't continue. Um, uh, I never really understood if it was me or the game. Because I looked up guides on game facts and people were just progressing and I wasn't. Like, it was a, a mystic forest type thing where you, you need to follow specific directions. And I did and I, like, couldn't, could never get out of it. So I basically ended up quitting the game. But, like, I followed, like, a bunch of guys. Tried different alternatives to get through. I, I must have missed some item I needed or something. Or I had it, but the game was bugged. Which, at some point, was what I believed. But now I can't swear by it anymore, because it's been very long. Just a little bit of unlimited sight. Didn't really like. Alright, uh... I think you guys, uh... understand what this game is like? I showcased that? You... 
I've seen it. You haven't seen me get very far in it. For obvious reasons. Which is, I am not good <laughs> at this type of game. Um, but uh, you can probably figure out if you would like it or not. So, I think it's time for me to move on to the next one. Um... What are we doing? We're doing an arrogance game. I might be wrong, but I think we're doing an arrogance game. <laughs> um, I'll be back. I'll take a break. I'll take the stream down. I'll be back in a bit with uh, something new. I bet mod ships will think I will never come back. <laughs> That's what happened last time. <laughs> when it goes down, it will come back up almost immediately. I'll be right back. 